Hello, my cube friends. Are are you okay? You seem to be a bit blinded. It's that radiation, isn't it? I told you you need to lay off of it here. Here, hang on. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. I got just the thing for this. It's called a magic button. Hi guys, how's it going? As you know, my name is Seamus, and I'm going to tell you a story. Yes, it's story time, but not from my blue book. You know, that magic blue book that comes from off the screen, out of frame. Usually right about here, but uh, no, it's not coming from that this time. I'm going to tell you a bit about my life. <coughs> Specifically, I'm going to tell you about two, three years ago. I was in the 11th grade, and, uh, I judged someone. Yeah. I know nobody likes to be judged, nobody likes a judger, but, uh, I did. And it, it wasn't anything negative. You know, it was one of my teachers, and here's what I do with new teachers. I sit back, and I watch them. I'm that creepy kid in the back of the class that watches everything, everybody, figures out if you're okay to be myself around, you know, you, you know what I mean, because there's some people where you, if you're yourself around them, that's just not gonna work, you know, this is gonna contradict something I'm gonna later say, you'll find out, <laughs> but, um, this teacher seemed really cool, so I started, you know, acting, acting myself, myself being, you know, Seamus, no other way to describe it. So, you know, I ask weird questions every day, every like five minutes. I'm a five, I'm, I'm like seven, I'm seven. And eventually, she got a little fed up with it. And I know she got fed up with it because uh, I told her I was afraid of needles. And this this is a nursing class. Um, we were actually going to get our CNA license with it. And I told her I was afraid of needles because we were going out to get our uh, TB tests. And I didn't want to slow the class down. And I told her, you know, can I wait here and get this done on my own time. She pulled me to her office and asked me what the problem was. You know, not thinking anything was up, I just told her I have an extreme phobia of needles, which is still true. I'm still extremely afraid of needles. If, if you ever want to kill me somehow, or force me off a ledge, you know, don't, don't get a sword, don't get mean looking gun, no, just come at me with a two inch needle and I, I'll do whatever you say, you know, yeah, I, I shouldn't say that on the internet, I don't know who's watching this, but, uh, yeah, uh, it'd be that easy to, to get me to do something, if you threaten me with a needle, I, I'm yours, but, uh, yeah, I, I was, uh, sent to the office, soon after that for a meeting with that teacher the principal the guidance counselor and my mom yeah it was that serious apparently uh the point of the meeting is still lost on me personally i think she thought i was a terrorist because of some of the questions that I was asking, and she kind of made the mistake of asking what I wanted to do with my life, and I have so many plans of what I want to do. You know, first and foremost, I want to be a comedian. Secondly, I want to be the president of the United States of America, which would be awesome, and could happen. It could. 2040, vote for Seamus. Yeah. Um. But anyway, at the time, my number one plan was a little weird. 
I wanted to go to Alaska. I still want to go to Alaska, but not for the same reason. But I wanted to go to Alaska, bring a group of people with me, and secede from the U.S. in a city that we build, in a city that is its own nation, that will grow and prosper, and in 200 years raise an army that will enter the United States and attack Washington, D.C., bringing down our government and restarting the United States as it once was when it first became a nation. Now, of course, that, uh, that wasn't seen to, that wasn't viewed in the brightest of light, you know? For one, they didn't seem to understand this was a 200-year plan. I would be dead before half of it was done. You know, so. The first thing they said to me after I told them my plan was, do I consider myself a threat to myself or others? It didn't help that I started laughing right there. Um, so, I was kept out of school the next day because I had to go see a counselor, a uh, psychiatrist, psychologist, when one of those two, and get a note from him saying that in no way am I a threat to myself or others. Kind of funny, because he laughed too, so, you know, maybe he agrees with my plan, I don't, I don't know. By the way, that plan could still happen, you yeah. if my first 16 plans fail, number 17, yeah. But, anyway, the point of this story, you should never judge somebody. Whether it's positive, whether it's negative, judgment is not for you to do. It's not for you. So, <clears throat> yeah, that's that's it. Uh, is there, is there anything you guys want to hear about from my life? You know, post in the comments. If you have any questions... Anything at all you want to say, you know, and if you post anything funny in the comments, funny like, that's, that's really funny, I will read it in my next story, not, not my blue book stories, but my next story like this. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to go. Happy 4th of July, Interdependence Day. Uh, yeah. Peace. Go back. Go back to your blinding green radiation. Goodbye, my cubes.